four children dead of drug overdoses, all of them connected to one woman, according to court records. News 11 investigator Chris Hayes has the disturbing timeline. 30-year-old Marianne Curtis was facing child endangerment charges in St. Louis City last year when she was connected to three child deaths. She was allowed to remain free, leading to what authorities now say is a fourth child death here in St. Louis County. The suspect lives on Janet Avenue in Jennings, where we spoke with her mother, Nadine. I just feel like if my child didn't have bad looks, she wouldn't have any at all. Her daughter, Mary, behind bars after the judge wrote on this warrant, this may be the fourth infant to die as a result of the defendant. I just feel like if my child didn't have bad looks, she wouldn't have any at all. Court records point to drug exposure as the connection in each child death. Nadine told us in 2020 her daughter had drug exposed twins born five months prematurely. So they were born really, really small, under a pound, um, and they lived for about a minute. She said in 2021, her daughter had another child who lived just 17 days. The 17 day old, they said um, that he would be able to go home. She was breastfeeding. That death led to a child endangerment charge in St. Louis City and a court deal to allow her to stay out of jail. This last time, Mary was doing everything she was supposed to be doing. She was doing the right thing. Until Nadine says an acquaintance brought over a sleeping two-year-old who never woke up. The way she was breathing, I wasn't comfortable with it. So I asked Mary, which is my daughter that brought the baby, I said, does she always sleep this hard? The child died March 20th, leading to the latest charge alleging fentanyl exposure. Then there's a fifth child death that's not reportedly drug related. Nadine says Marianne Curtis's 15 year old daughter Emily died February 28th after being shot in the face by someone in South St. Louis. Curtis attended the funeral and then was locked up on the St. Louis County child endangerment charges that she was arraigned on Friday. Chris Hayes, News 11.